Live right now. I'm gonna get this camera set up pretty good. Can you see you? Yeah, I can see me. Can you see you? I can see me. I'm gonna scoot a little bit closer that right? way we they can see a little bit better what we're talking about. All right, how's that? That look good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Does that look good? Is that good? Yeah, that's good. All right, well, we're going to get on into it. Why do we look like we're like downhill, though? Well, we that's what I'm saying. Are we good? Is it good? Kind of. Kind of not. I mean, it's kind of pointing downhill. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll lower it down a little bit and see if we can fix this. We ain't professionals. We've just been doing this for about six years. Uh-oh, and we're luck pill. I'm going to put it right there, and I'm going to just scoot it down some. What do you think? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right there. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah. Is that good? Like tilt it that way. That way? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, like take take the phone like this side and like. Did I kiss? Like that? No, 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 no. Like that? Like where the no. What are we doing here? Where the charging port's at? Charging port. This, that thing? Yeah. Make it go down. Like tap that side. Oh, like right that? Yeah. You think it's level? Not now. But well. It, yeah, right there, right there. Right there. No, no, no. Go back the other way. That's the best way you can do it. All right, we're gonna get on into it. If you guys didn't see our uh, part one, it's because it was about a month ago or something like that. And we've been saving up mail time, all right? If you guys don't know, I have a P.O. box where you guys can send me whatever you want to. Um, it's in the descriptions usually, so if you want to check that out, you can. Anyways, we have people a bunch of sending us stuff. And it is you guys, it's fans, it's not companies or anything like that. So it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna open up some mail and we're gonna do it live right here for you guys to watch it. And if you're coming in here late, which it just started, you can watch the replay and do it that way. First things first, what's in this one? All right, first one is coming from River, Daryl, and Barry, the trucker boys. This is gonna be good. It's from Kentucky. It's gotta be good. We're in Kentucky. KG Pocket Knife is the sponsor of today's video. Big shout out to this company. I've not heard much about them, but KendallGrave1.com slash shop or something like that. They make a KG. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, dude. Dude, they sent me a rack. Stinking oh. rack. What's the, What's these for? That's to keep it from getting abducted. That's what I was thinking. That's pretty Check cool. Check that out. That is I, don't, cool. I, think, I think this is a shed. No, someone killed this because you can see where they cut it off. Called it. Or they found the dead rack and they cut it off so that they could actually ship it. But that right there is a deer antler. That thing's sick. Very cool. What we got here? What kind of deals we got going on? I sent coupons. You can get three for five dollars bush best baked or grilling beans. Cut me out that ice cream one up there. I'll buy that. Here you go. You got that one. Go ahead and be cutting it out. I'll get the next one. Actually, there's more stuff in here. Oh, heck yeah. What we got here? Some little baits? Dude, look at that. I gotta show them that. That's 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 butter. Right? Oh my goodness, dude! What are all that? Check that out. This ain't the pack it came in, but as you can see, nice little, nice little crankbait. That's gonna be bomb, bomb fire in the creek. We're gonna set that one right here. Did you cut it out? Yes. Yeah, anything forever. else? I think I don't know what that's for. You know what? You probably should have figured out where it went to before you cut it out. This probably ain't redeemable everywhere. I think uh, it is Kroger. Kroger. It is Kroger. Okay, well, we got one. I'm going to Kroger later today. All right, there you go. We're going to set that right there. I do want to say this, guys. I know that a lot of packages do have letters and things like this right here. Let me pull it out if I can. We are going to read these, but to save time, because we do have a lot of them, we're going to we're going to read them after this live stream's over. That way, you know, we can actually get through all these packages and show off the, the thing. But then we will read all the letters, though, after we're after you know it's over so we're going to set that over there we're going to move on to the next one this is a pretty solid box not gonna lie whoever done this one right here they they probably worked at the post office at least three years experience look at that oh yeah that's that's good that's good that's that the special tape too that's got like the strings in it that don't rip oh who's it from okay they ain't gonna tell us they're gonna keep it a secret that could be good or bad Open with caution, that's all I got to say. This could be. All right, also, here's a little knife tip. Cut away from you. Don't do the way I did it, so. Cut away from you, that way you don't cut yourself. Last live stream, I almost died, so. I if you know, you know. I told you not to do that. 
All right, let's see. Made in the USA. I think it's talking about the box, but that's okay. Oh, what is this? Well, never mind. That's not fan mail. That's something else. Now we're moving on to this one, which also isn't fan mail. That's something else. Then we'll move on to this one. It is from Jackson Davis. So let's go ahead and open this one. Let's see what we got. I'm going to let you open that one. He's from Kentucky. No, let's see who it is. Wait, no, that's the that's my address. He's from New York. Yeah. I'll let you open that. I'll go grab another one here. We'll start crank cranking through these. This one's from Adito Yoyanas. Is that pretty accurate? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty close. From New E. N E. New England? Or is that Nebraska? N E. That's for flares. Wait. I don't think N E. It's M N. Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. All right, guys, we can't. We're not. We're not the smartest down what here. What is this? We got some. We got a crawdaddy crankbait. You didn't get a Patrick though. That is art. That is hand. That's hand drawn from scratch. What is that? Is that Webkins? Yeah. No, it ain't. I hope they gave me the login details. I'm gonna get in on that today. You can go to Kroger's. I'm getting a Webkins. Yes. Thank you, Jackson Davis. I, yes. I like the Patrick. You know what I'd do with this? I want to hang this off of one of the ARs. Like a charm? Yeah. Yeah. That's... We can do that. Yeah, let's hang it off an AR. Please. Okay. We got some cool crankbaits. A frog in here. This one crankbait's kind of crazy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a crawdaddy crankbait. That can come in useful, just like that other one in the creek. As for there, there's a letter. We'll read that after the pod. This ain't a podcast. This is a... What are we doing? This is a mail time. A live stream mail time. Yep, that's what it is. Oh, here's a good one. Okay. This is... There's screws in there. No, or that's brass. That's brass. It's got some weight to it. It's coming from Cash Kelly. That's a good name. That's a good name. Whoever named you, done it. That's a... Thank your mom and dad. They did it right right there. No way. Is that one of those poppet things? I don't know. That's, yeah, that's what Play with it. See what you can do. You just gotta... Oh my goodness. I'm going to scoot y'all a little bit closer. We got some stuff to show y'all. Yeah. I'm going to read some of the comments. Comment below, boys. What you toe doing? What, what y'all doing today? Oh, straight shooting with somebody. Just gave us $3. That's like two bullets. That's, that's crazy. Like, that's like three beef burritos from Taco Bell. Hey, you know what? That, that might be what we get today. I think that's what we should eat today. Okay. I'm going to lower y'all down. That way y'all can see a little bit more of what we're actually doing here. I want y'all to be able to see, like, what we're looking at. I don't want y'all to be able to see from a distance. I want y'all to be up close, see what we're doing, what we're talking about, and uh, what we're unboxing. This may take me a minute to get the camera angle right, but eventually. Easy now. I'm moving you nice so you don't have a mishap like the last one. last one was pretty bad. Yeah. This one was from, who is this one from again? Cash. Cash. Check this out. You know what that is? Is that one of those launching things? I think it is. How do I do it? Check this out. Thanks, Cash. Bad. Let's switch it back. Here we go. All right. We got sardines in oil, which is stinking epic because I don't know if Cash consciously did this, but trapping season, right around the corner. Right now, what is it? September, October? It's October. Trapping season's coming in November. Hey, somebody said it's their birthday. Happy well, happy birthday. birthday then. Yeah. Yeah, now we got it close. You ever been to Missouri? Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. Farthest north I've been is Lexington. Is Missouri north, though? No, they're that way. Yeah, they're that way. They're west. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't been there. Uh-uh. uh KG, KG, KG. That's my initials. That's crazy. How about that? Was that a coincidence, or you think you did that on purpose? Toss up. Hey, it's one of them. One of them, a toss up. We got a whole goodie basket in here. We got wow. some uh, some big big gambler crawl daddies. Those will work good pretty much, honestly, anywhere you throw them. You know, I had a dream last night that I went fishing. I'm sorry. I didn't catch anything, but it was fun. What we got here? Oh, snap. Oh, that's one of them razor blades. Like. To do what with it? A lot of times when people work in warehouses and stuff, you know. Oh, for boxes? Glass? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Let's test it out, boys. Oh, snap. That's actually pretty. pretty. Dude. Yeah. 
I don't know if you guys know this, but we package our own package pack, packages here from Kittle Great One Com slash shop. First link in the description. We're gonna use this in the warehouse. We're gonna actually package and open some of y'all's boxes with that thing. Actually, we're gonna use it right now to open up more mail. Here's a marble. Marble. You think that's out of a paint can? Let's look. Could be. And then we got a cool fidget spinner and a knife. Yes, sir. And an American flag. We're using that. Oh yeah. Oh heck yeah. Swiss Army knife. What is this? A silver dollar? A half dollar. That's epic, dude. Set that right over there. I'm gonna use this right here on the next package. And the next package is coming from Dempsey Fletcher, all the way in Virginia. How are we gonna do this? That's cool. That's pretty good. We needed this. We actually needed this. We got, I think we just got this one thing. Is this thing. another cellular device? No. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. It's art. Man's an artist. Because he sent art right here. And he actually shipped it like an artist, too, because he knows what he's doing. Check that out. Hand-drawn elk. Dang. He, he shipped it in between two cardboard pieces. He knew what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. He's smart. We're going to set this right over here, and we're going we'll try to hang it up back there. Let's see what we got here now. I don't know. It looked pretty cool, though, from what I could tell. That's a, I like this. That's, that, I like that. What we got over here? Piece of wood, hand painted. Okay, that's my initials. That's crazy. Let's see. I think that's all we got. We'll just slide that back in there and I'll scoot that down to you. Now we're gonna move into a pretty big box. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What do you think that is? I don't know. Does it say? It is coming from Matthew Oni from Leading Co. Let's see what we got here. It, it looks packaged pretty good too. Yeah, this is professionally packaged. It is indeed professionally packaged right here. Okay, now let's go straight down the middle. See what we got, see what we got. Okay, okay. Like butter. What do you think it is? I think I already know what it is. What do you think it is? I think it's Crocs. I don't either. Huh? Ammo. He reached out to me and was like, hey, we like the mail time. We want to help you out. And I was like, oh, heck yeah. Send it on and we'll open it, brother. So, Matthew, this ammo, ammo. He sent us ammo. We're going to use that, too, especially because ammo is crazy weird to find right now. Don't understand why. Whoa, Dang. dude, he sent us 200 rounds and a shirt and a hat. Is these 9 millimeter? Yeah, I think so. 9 millimeter Luger baby like okay one time okay and since you know you send it i wear it we're putting this on we're putting it on right now uh oh that's a cool hat that's a really cool hat does this have a gun store or something i think he works at a gun store in richmond kentucky i don't know about that that's pretty cool but here we go i'm putting it on with a shirt lock league and co lead and company lead yeah wow it is lead, isn't it? I think that's how you spell lead. Well, how you spell lead? Is it the same thing? Let me look that up. Cause that, that's a good one. Cause I had a dog named Lead once and maybe his name was Lead and I just didn't know. Are they spelled the same? Lead, Lead? Uh, They're not? Lead? I, I, is, it's probably the same, I don't know. Lead only... and Lead? Lead? And lead. I guess it's lead and co. I don't know. If it's still with guns, it's probably not lead. Probably not. It's probably lead and co. I, I, I did think it said, I did thought it said, I did think it said lead. Lead? Lead. That makes sense, right? What? Lead? L-A-D? Lead? Or is L-E-E-D? That's just like Creed with an L. That's to be determined. We may or may not ever figure that one out. But as for the ammo, big thanks, Matthew, because I'm rocking merch and ammo. That's, that's pretty good. This is pretty epic. Pretty I like awesome. the shirt. It feels really good, too. Oh, here we go. Big, big long one, son. Coming all the way from Massachusetts. Uh-uh. Do not cut. Oh, well then. What are we supposed to do? Cut the corner. Beat it open? No. Nope. That's probably even worse. It is coming from the Van Cleve family. 
What you do, you take your knife and just... All right, we're gonna have to, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this thing, cause it's a lot, it doesn't. Oh, dude, that oh, was that's... butter. That was butter. No. What is this? You know exactly what that is. Oh my goodness. How many's in here? What is in here? What in the heck? Dude. Oh my goodness, there's two pairs. I got more Crocs, baby. Let's think and go. I can finally take off these green ones. Lime green looking things. I mean, I like them, but I played them a fishing line one day and cut these right in half right there. About at half. But uh, yeah, we can retire them. We're going to put these bad boys on right now. Those are no way. Dude, these are the off-road sports. Yeah, that's what I'm No way. These are just like the ones I wear that are brown. Every day. Except Every day. They're, these are camo, which makes them even better for hunting. See, I can literally, I would if I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd literally be a croc salesman. I don't blame you. Dude, check it out, though. These are the off-road sports, not sponsored at all. Well, kind of sponsored by the Van Cleve family. That's right. Off-road sport. You can tell that they're off-road sport because you got deep V-line tread. It even, you got a little, what's it called whenever the tires stick out of the fenders? What? When the tires stick out of the fenders, what's that called? It's just spaced out. Spaced out, spaced out tread. That way you got extra offset. traction. Offset, That's they're horrible. offsets. Then back here in the back, you got the four wheel drive. You can extend them or they got straps on them. You can't beat that. No. Do I usually rock? Yeah, mine's always in four wheel because I don't know when I'm yeah. going or where I'm going. Dude, these are sick. These are in size 10. Oh. Oh, thank you, dude. You can't beat that. No, you really can't. Crocs like, are you, real, you really can't. Dude, am I looking good or not? I can't even see them. Exactly. <laughs> and you best believe I'm going trapping in these. What's this other pair? Let's see. What's this? Oh, here's a letter. They put it in an envelope, making me feel fancy up in here. Dang, son. Better be careful with this. Yeah. This ain't a letter opener, is it? I, I don't know. Oh, snap, dude. Check that out. The whole fam's got merch on. That's right. Oh, heck yeah. That's right. I don't know if I want to show you a picture on here or not, but I know what you look like. I don't want to show you. I don't want to, you know. They're decked out. They are decked out. That's yeah. all I can say. I think they got KG binoculars. Dude, look at all the knives on his pocket. That's wild. He's decked out. Yeah. They've all got knives. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to, like, I don't want to, like, jump, jump too far, but, like, I, how many times you cut yourself? Because I've, I also own a lot of KG knives, and I am sliced open daily. Yeah. Because apparently much. these are really sharp, and also, I don't know. I just go hard with my knives, dude. A little bit. Let's see. Oh, heck yeah. A little bit. Oh, heck yeah. Let's see. What does those say? Look what it says. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's what I was thinking they were for. That's why I was reading that letter to see if it said it. Here you go. You guys, whoever sent those. It's the McLean family. Well, you guys DM McLean. me later on Instagram. I need to tell you guys thank you even more than what I can right here. Put them on, son. Put you right on. now, you ain't even wearing Crocs. No, because yours don't fit. <laughs> well, let me show you his other options. Because you don't got none that fit. Right now, he's got two options he could have chose from. To wear down here in the, in the bottom bunker, whatever you want to call it. He has the purple ones, which don't have the thing. I don't think, yeah, those are Crocs. They're good. These aren't the off-road sport, but then he also has these to choose from, but he chose to go no socks. No, no shoes. No, I no shoes, just socks. But now he's rocking socks with camo Crocs off-road sport. How you like them bad boys? Pretty good. I just got to break these in good. Break them in one time. Do a lap or two. You got time. You got time. Oh, my goodness. No way. No. No, dude. Dude. These guys are going to make me cry. I'm about to start crying. What? They sent me cash money. Except not American. We got Mexico, British Caribbean, Israel, and then a dollar from somewhere I'm not sure of. Go get Daryl. We got to... They don't, they don't know what it is yet. Show them. What is this? Is this... That's, that's off of these crocs. This is a chicken harness. <laughs> They sent us a chicken harness <laughs> from Jennifer and John Van Cleef. That is cool. This is awesome. That is we feel cool. like kings up in here. Oh, for sure. With my my British my British Caribbean 
gold right here. I don't know if they knew this. I may have said it in one of the early uh, whatevers, but I like, I like, uh, not necessarily like old money, but yeah, I like like old money, collectible money, money from other places. I'm gonna put this over there with okay. that other bit. Yeah, we'll put it right there. Cause I'm a, yeah, right up there. Cause that's where the other one is. As for this, <laughs> all I can say is coming soon to a KG video near you. And while we're at it, that's going in Walmart. What? The chicken's going in Walmart. He's my emo. Daryl is my emotional support chicken, and I have a leash for him now. That one. That's a pretty epic. That's um. That's an epic unboxing. What do you think about that? Them things are ready to do business. They really are. Like these are literally trapping shoes. I'm pretty sure Croc made them for trappers. Yeah, pretty much. Looking Man. sick. Looking sure. sick. You got yours in two wheel drive. Why are you doing that strap? You got a reason for it? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Why? I don't know how to put them in a four wheel drive. Oh, you just you just crank them back, put hit the clutch one time, strap them in, and you're good to go. And then you're in four wheel. I usually leave mine in like four wheel, but not diff lock. That way I got maneuverability and I can do a little quick change and hit something with it if I have to, like a squirrel, in the case I really needed to. Not that I plan on needing to, but you know, sometimes you just don't know. You just don't know sometimes. I've been needing new Crocs, actually. You've seen my camo ones, haven't you? I have. They can't hardly see them, but I have seen them a few times. They've been through the ringer. They've those are the ones I even dirt the like spray painted. You dirt coated them? No, I spray painted them, but I spray painted them and then wore them so much the spray paint's just gone now. Dang. Here we got one from Cole Richmond. First class mail. First class nice. mail. I'm gonna say this real quick, guys. If you guys want to hit the like button, that'll be really good because what? whenever you guys hit the like button and you guys leave a comment and you leave a chat, not only do we get to see it, we get to see your support. It also helps like more people see the video and just more people get to enjoy it. That's right. Especially the live stream, because this is fun. This is very I don't know if you guys are on fall break or not. I know that some schools are on fall break for like the people who are in school. But like, you know, maybe you're not. But the good thing is that if you're in if you're still in school while this is recording, you get to watch it. Because I'm gonna post it for you guys later so that you guys can rewatch it as much as you want to. But yeah, go ahead and hit the like button for us, because right now we're only sitting at like 375 likes. And I think we can do a little bit better than that. So yeah. Oh yeah. Cole sent us some uh a good little assortment of baits right there. That's right. Oh yeah, one time, one time, two time. Got a fluke in there. That looks like a homemade bait. Check that out, you see that? That does. That is a homemade bait. It's gotta be. It's painted and everything. That's sick. Somebody's Here's a, good at painting. Yeah, they are. Kind of not. No. Whoa, what is this? This must have came from the Royal Merchant. Redfield. Is that a pirate? It's British gold. Looks like a pirate. See, there's a there's a ship. Where's he from? Is he from North Carolina, South Carolina? North Carolina. He's that's, from L.A. That's Louisiana. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's some British gold down there too. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Let me show it to you so y'all can actually see what the heck I'm talking about. Look at it. It's a big gold coin, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'll really figure it scary. out later. I'll figure it out later. And I think we got some fan art. Oh, Lordy mercy. We have a big fan art right there. And a few different pages of it. We'll check that out right here later, though. Yes. As for now, let's move on. What do you think we need to dive into? What we need to dive into next? We got some pretty big boxes over here. Let's, let's start opening boxes. Let me pull out a box right here. We're looking at Cooper Carrier. Or Carrier. Whichever one you choose. I'll cut away from myself. Remember, cut your buddy, not yourself. Ah. Or replace your buddy. <laughs> Whoa, that was, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was dramatic. That was dramatic, yeah. Oh, snap, dude. I may or may not see a fishing challenge in here right now. Do we have a Zeb, we have a Zebco 33 Max. Not just a 33, a 33 Max, okay? Okay, a 33 Max. Zebco 33 is arguably the, the best reel ever made, according to my grandpa. And this is, I, I can't tell. I think this is one of the older ones, 
which means it's probably even higher quality, which is pretty epic. This may be the one that we have to do on the Mammy versus Mammy challenge. That'd be a good little reel right there. And then he sent me baits and a ton of baits to use with them. Oh, heck yeah. Weights, bunch of zoom worms, so that's epic. We'll put those to use. Oh, this is a little critter crawl. Those Somebody are good. something about a Mountain Dew in it. A Mountain Dew in it? I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know. They're what does that even mean? They're mentioning Mountain Dew. I'm intrigued. Here's a little rebel. A little rebel thing. And then here's this letter. We'll set that right there. And we'll minutes. get to read that later. I'm going to pull y'all in for a second. We'll close that now. We're going to try to answer some of y'all's questions. Let's see what y'all got. What y'all been up to today? I know it's a Thursday. Everyone. Right? Is it Thursday? Yeah. Okay. Thursday. It's a Thursday. Oh, why did I go hip one time? I don't know if this works. Hey, G, guess what? What? I don't know. Is that all he said? That's all he said. Use the bald guy. What? Who? You talking about Ace? Who's he talking about? Why, why does he? Ethan look sad in the press? I don't know if you just watched him get the Crocs. He didn't look very sad no. in the press. I'm actually, he may just be a little confused uh, because we just jumped into a mail time and didn't really tell him about it. But as before that, chicken, someone said, I'm at school. So that's all right. I'm just going to do a little inferencing here. Don't get your phone took. I'm going to say he's probably not on fall break from school. No. Let's see. What are they saying? Someone said bye because their teacher's coming. Yeah, it's probably a good, probably good, uh, probably good Somebody idea. Somebody else said I'm at school. What is my full name? Are we allowed to disclose that information? Yeah, we can we can say my full name. Okay. First name is Ethan. My last name's Carmack, and my middle name is Ray. Dang. When are the deer videos coming? When season comes in. Ethan? Season's been in for over a month. You bow hunt, I don't. I don't even own a bow. <laughs> yeah. Bo um tell him what tell him what we just did a few minutes ago. Um uh, we just Went out and chilled, and Kendall was like, let's go uh, to the bow range, because he's supposed to be hunting this weekend. Yep, not I'm going, going in go. the morning, in the morning. And I'm not going, I'm not just going deer hunting, okay? I'm not just going deer hunting. I'm going deer hunting, okay? I'm, and I'm actually going deer killing. Uh, you left off, it's at the end of it, it's CK, not just K. But yeah, you got it. <laughs> let's see, what can I go? Go shoot a hog with Brandon. I think they mean Braden. I think they do too. Yeah, Braden. Yeah, definitely mean Braden. I don't, I don't, I don't know many Brandons. Fifty cal air rifle. He's from Alabama. If there's anything I know about Alabama, it's that y'all have a beach. I didn't know that a month ago. Go fishing, please. We try. We got any good fishing videos coming up? Do we? What's it say? Ethan is a what? What? What'd you call him? What'd you say? Ethan is a what? Yeah, uh, a Ethan, good, good guy. Ethan is a good guy. Dot, dot, dot. I don't know what the dot, dot, dot. But... I try to be. Okay. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Where is the buck score? What did your buck score? Oh. Uh, probably no more than 380. About a 50. 450. Something right in there. All right. Let's get back in to opening some mail. All right. I got another big box down here. We're going to open it. This one's coming from Zach Jordan. Big box too. And I, I want to say this real quick, guys. We have a lot of mail down here, and because of time constraints, we're not going to be able to open it all on camera, but we are going to be opening it all off camera. So That's right. what doesn't get opened on here, just remind, just don't, don't think that we just didn't open it and didn't care. We're going to open what we can, and then what we don't, we're going to open it up, and we're still going to read all the stuff and all that good stuff. So. 100%. This mail time's fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And this one's from Ohio. So. We're, we're kind of neighbors. Close. This is an interesting box. This is like a puzzle. Oh my goodness. What is Dude, that? what is all this? He sent me all kinds of stuff. He sent me a... 410. Chewed up. Yeah. Which is interesting. Yeah. He sent me a bunch of baseball cards and... Ox cards? Animal cards? Animal playing cards? Those are cool. A bunch of baseball cards. Like a bunch of baseball cards. Some kind of hot hand toe warmer. Is That's that? pretty epic. Oh, wow. What else we got in here? We got a knife. There's Steve. Is it? Polar bear? Yeah. Pretty much. There's a buck. I mean, a browning knife. That's pretty good, dude. That kind of feels pretty good, too. You could cut deer wide open with that. Slice and dice. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's right. 
Let's see, what else we got in here? We got a bait, bait pack for the bait wall. Put that right there on the bait wall. Back here we got a book, we got some rocks. We got some rocks, we got another knife. We got Ear Pro. What is that? It's a care package is what this is. I think this is like a letter opener. It's like a small needle knife. Get in there and do some, probably can't skin a deer with this, but here's this letter. We'll set that right there. And then more baseball card. Oh, and a fly, a fly. Not a real fly, but like a fishing fly. Those are gonna be cool. And I'm, I'm gonna be trying to do some some uh, fly fishing here soon, maybe for some trout. I'm overheating, my head's starting to sweat. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I'm gonna set it right there. I'm gonna take this off too, because two shirts, it's kinda hot, if you know what I mean. Ooh, what are we working with now? What are we working with? I don't know. Uh -oh. Taco Here's Bell bait pack. It didn't so fit on the wall. What was this deal? It didn't stick. Try again. Well, we'll get we one. tried. We tried. Another box. A flat box. An interesting flat box. This is not sure. This is from Sam White Eagle. I don't know how someone acquires a last name like that. I respect that but last you, name. But you got it. You got it. White Eagle. You're a blessed man for that kind of last name. Let's see. Oh, we just got a ton of fishing baits. I'm talking stacked up. I'm talking musky this thing's gonna kill a musky or not kill a musky but it's gonna kill the musky that is a musky bait if i've ever seen one is that a giant broke back giant broke back minner i believe so that's a, that's actually like a perfect musky bait ethan yeah is there a possibility that on the second channel soon there's gonna be a video of me catching a musky maybe maybe know. not I may or may not have worked on one yesterday. All I have to say is that you guys, if you're not subscribed to the second channel, it's called Kendall Gray 2. It's like another channel where we post really awesome videos. So, And we've been posting a lot more lately. So if you guys are wanting some more KG content, go check that out after the podcast. But we just got another musky bait. Not to mention all the bass size baits, but the musky baits are really catching my eye. Mainly because, uh, well, I may, I may or may not have, you know, Caught a musky recently. We got a cool ornament there. All kinds of worms in here. And then I think down here in the bottom, we got a, some kind of pliers. But we just got a ton of different baits in here that can be used for all kinds of stuff. What is that? Tweezers and a Swiss Army knife. That's interesting. And a little circular plier things. So That's all going to come in handy. I may get to use those musky baits. Soon. That's going to be pretty epic. What we got next, boys? What we got next? I got this box right here. It's already opened. Let me see, did we open it last time? Did we? Yeah, I think we already opened that one. Did we already open this one? I think we already opened that one too last time. Oh, here's a big one. Here's a big and big one. What we got here, stinking Lego set? If it's a Lego set, I know what we're doing for the rest of the day. Yeah, that may also be another second channel video. This is coming from Joey Maxwell, and he's from Nevada. Dang, that's a long way out there. That's out in the desert. Area 51 places. That's pretty much. That's what I'm, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, that's what I'm putting down. What are we getting for lunch? Taco Bell. I'm thinking I'm getting me about two, no, about three beef burritos. Oh, yeah, dude. He sent me his whole tackle box. Uh, it's not a Lego set. They better, honestly. Yeah. Bunch of stuff, honestly. What we got in here? Rocks? Or bait? Oh, no, it's for Sheba. What's that, treats? Yeah, it's treats for Sheba. Well, or Steve. Either one. And we got pliers. No, that's cool. Show them that. Oh, yeah, 100%. That is cool. These little pliers right there. They're small pliers. And then we got some things for the bait wall. We'll stick that up there. Working on guns right here. Yeah. It's little pretty. pliers for maybe got little jobs. And would you believe it if we got a fidget spinner? What if we do a, a fidget, spin, fidget spinner mounted on a fidget cow? Do it. What is that long comment? Okay, that's it. What's in the box though? What kind of baits we got? Oh, we got everything. We got hooks. We got a popper. Dude, I could literally take this and go fishing. Oh, yeah. 
You know what? That wouldn't be a bad video at all, would it? Mm -mm. Fishing with fan mail. Because y'all send me all kinds of baits. I would literally do better fishing from fan mail than I would fishing at Walmart. Because y'all send me way better baits, way more baits than Walmart would ever even imagine having. There's a frog. Frogs are one of my favorite things to use. He sent two of them. Here's Cinco's. Cinco's are probably like one of my top five things to use. He sent a bunch of them. Here's flukes. I love those. Here's tubes. I love those. Jigs. I'm not a big fan of jigs, but that doesn't mean I don't use them because they work. I I'm like just not. A, I don't like jigs. I'm, I'm not that patient. But, I mean, I still use them when I need to use them. When that's what they're biting, that's what they're biting. And they sent me hooks and everything. I mean, hooks and sinkers. I could literally take this box. I'm going to say anywhere in the country, and I could catch bass on it. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's because of me. I'm saying it because this thing has everything I'd ever need. I'm not, I probably couldn't catch them. Now, before we go on to the next box, I do want to do one thing. And I'm going to have to walk over here to get out for this one. Putting these back in two-wheel drive. All right. Sometimes four-wheel drive, you just, you know, sometimes you just don't need it. Sometimes you got to use four-wheel drive for later. But check it out, boys. Y'all are the first to know. Y'all are the first to know this. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing yet. But, uh... We have a new merch drop. We have three new t-shirts. They're really cool. We have this one right here. This one's called the KG Black Bear Shirt. I'm not kidding. I literally put them for sale. Probably literally two minutes before I started. Two minutes before I clicked the podcast. I went up there. I'm like, wait, I want to do the po I, or I want to do the live today. I want to do the mail time. But before I do the mail time, I want to put these shirts up. So I went ahead, put them up for sale. We have this one right here. This one's called the KG Black Bear Shirt. Then we have one that's a blue line shirt. It's a KG blue line flag design. Really cool. I like it. Then we have one. It's called the Orange Fishing Man. It's an orange shirt. Has a guy fishing and adds Philippians for, what was it again? 416? I can't remember the exact one, but it has the little thing right here. And it's the one that says, like, you can do anything. That's a summarization. But there's also one more that restocked, and it's the KG USA t-shirt. The USA, where it's like the KG and the flag in Navy, that one restocked. That was super popular, went out of stock super fast. We restocked those for y'all. So, yeah, if you want those, I'm going to give you the guys the code at the end. So stick to the end, and then I'm going to give you guys a promo code that you guys can actually go and get 10% off any of those shirts. And they just dropped, so that's epic. All right, is that about good? That K wrangle look good? Yeah, that's good. All right, bet. I'm really yeah. digging these crops. I'm really, I'm really excited about these shirts. And I want to say this for you guys who are maybe wondering, KG, it's getting cold up here, and it's getting cold up here in Connecticut. It's getting cold up here in Washington State. When are you gonna bring out the hoodies? Very soon. They're literally being shipped right now. They're gonna be tight. They're gonna be nice, and we're gonna have a couple different cool designs of them too. And you can hunt in them. So if you want a hoodie, stay tuned. They're on the way. They'll be here pretty soon, I'd say. I think they should They should be here really soon. So, like, as soon as I get them here, I'm going to put them right up on the thing. And then I'll send you all an email. Probably shout it out in a couple videos and stuff. What is this? What is this? Uh, what is this? What is this? A knife? I don't know. A I'm, that's why I'm asking you. It's long and narrow. And that's what I like to see. There's a lot of things I like that come in boxes like this. Knives come in boxes like this. Scopes come in boxes like this. Uh, buffer tubes come in boxes kind of like this. What is it? I still don't know. But oh, he pulled a fast one on us. It's none of those. It's actually a lot of things just set down in a box, which I like it. He put paper in here as bubble wrap. He thought this through. What is that? Oh, no. I don't know yet. What is that? Nine millimeter. A kidney stone? No, it's nine millimeter. Oh, okay. Just like after it hit something, <laughs> a nine millimeter deformed? Yeah, it's no. Nine M? No, that ain't it. Here, let's. I'll let you read the letters. Oh, these are probably his targets. Let's see. Oh. My name is Nick. I can't. This I don't know. Ten years old. Bought a pocket knife. I've seen a lot of your famous videos, so I'd send you a knife. There's a knife in there. There somewhere. is a knife in here. I just saw it. He sent some wicked tuna. That was a really good show he back in the day. It's a handmade wooden knife. I would open a box with this, but 
I don't exactly know if that's what it's meant. That's to really do. cool. But it feels good in the hand. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. That's that feels good just to. That's cool. That's really cool. I bet it could open a box too, but I don't want to. I want to keep it in the best shape possible. He, he's a real woodworker if he built that. Oh yeah. Did you figure out what this was? No, it didn't. It says 9M, but it looks smaller than the 9mm. There he done a drawing of the KG pocket knife. Here's what I'm gonna do, guys. That promo code, I, since you know the episode is sponsored by the KG pocket knife, of course, this great company, which I'm not paying me to do this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make that special promo code where you can get a discount off the shirts and the knife. So I can't I can't I do not know what this is yet. I don't think it's a nine millimeter. It looks kind of small. Oh, is that air gun? No. Didn't really doesn't really say on it, but those are good groups. Those can definitely kill a squirrel if that's what you're shooting at. Here you go. We'll set this right over here. That can definitely kill a squirrel. I'll let you set that over there somewhere. And uh, put those with the bait, which you can just put them over there for now, I guess. <laughs> All right. We got a nice book right here. A book, Kentucky Call. Okay. Okay, one time. Okay, one time. People sending me magazines now. I think this one's from the National Wild Turkey Federation Foundation. I'm a member of that. I am too now. Oh heck yeah, baby. We'll check that out. Cool. Let's see. Um looks like we got a few more. One of which Oh, it's pink. Indeed, it is pink. If you're colorblind, it's pink. But if you're colorblind, it's pink. You may or may not know what pink actually means. I don't know how a colorblind works. I don't think I'm colorblind, but how would I know? How would I know if I'm missing colors? How would I know if these two, how would I know if these two are, are different colors? How would I know? If I'm, if I'm colorblind, I'd never know. Yeah, but I mean, we would probably already had a discussion like, hey dude, that's not that color. But I, I wouldn't know. Here's a theory, I'm gonna blow some of y'all's mind. And maybe you might blow my mind. I may actually pass out right here just trying to think of it. Listen, what if everybody sees pink differently, but everybody sees pink the same in their own body all the time? So like, what if pink is pink to me, but pink is actually blue to you, and you just think that blue is pink? Th this knob is blue. It is blue, but what if it's actually purple and you've just always seen purple as blue and so you just think that blue is purple? I don't know, I need answers because I would felt like- You could it. say, oh, well that's blue because it's the color of the sky. Yeah, well, if, you're, if you see purple, then maybe the color of the sky is purple and you say, yeah, it's deep and there's no answers. No. No. This one's coming from Can Candor Candyland Creations. Oh snap! What is that? It might be candy. If it is, but I don't know. It may not be. I don't think it's candy. Nope. Nope. Not candy. We don't know. Actually, someone said he said thank you for the gig and the flashlight. Here he is. I don't want to show his pictures too much. I don't want to show people's pictures on here. I don't know if they want me to show the pictures. But what is in this? Oh, it's brass. It's ammo. It's like shot ammo, so it's brass casing. Let's see if I can open it up. I think we got a 38 special. I think I see some wild guess. 32 ACP? That's probably a wild guess. Probably definitely incorrect. About ready to find out. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna let you open that. That's gonna take forever. Hmm. You getting tired or something? You just hungry? I'm tired and hungry. Tard. What are you tarred for? We ain't done nothing today. Nope. We ain't done nothing but put a scope on a gun. Oh, here it's coming in a shoebox. You know, you and it's a heavy shoebox. Okay? Okay? Not trying to put any ideas out there, but it's a heavy shoebox. It's coming from Jack Laird. What are you saying there? Laird. Laird. Jack Laird. Jack, Jack Lantern. Jack the Lantern. Kind of. And he's from Tennessee. So the boy's down south. 44, 9 millimeter. Oh, snap. We got bubble wrap. 
We got bubble wrap. I would pop it, but I'm just, I'm not that. Psych. I was oh. gonna stab it. Look at this. Oh, snap. We got some gym bug trick worms. And he sent hooks in the back, which is pretty epic because I can just take this, I can take this pack as is, and I've already got hooks to use it. Not only do that, but I also have Kraken Cross. Now, what are these called? Yeah, Kraken Cross, I think, from Guggen Baits. That's right. What is that? It may or may not be an iPod Touch. Really? Check it out. I'll read on it and see exactly what he wants us to shoot it with. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. What's he want to shoot it with? Oh! Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What is it? It is an iPod. Does it work? I don't know. Well, if it does, it don't work. we're going to start charging these phones. What if y'all are just sending us phones and, like, they work? And, like, maybe y'all is like, you know what? It doesn't work anymore. Well, have you tried charging it? I'm just saying. This is worth money. This is a product red iPod. How old is it? It's not old, is it? That's yeah, pretty new. You think it just needs charged? We're going to charge it. We're going to find out. You may, you, hey, some people may not realize you got charged. What if there's a hidden message on it? It's That's in true. too good a shape for them to bag it in this and wrap it in this. And even better than that, I don't think, I don't think, wait, for you to shoot it on a video. He does want us to shoot it. Okay. We'll we're going to, we're going to see if there's a hidden message on it first. And then we'll shoot it on a video. Whoa! He has a knife in here. What is that? It's just a metal knife. And it's stainless steel completely. Yep. And a bag full of candy. I'm not exactly the biggest guy on sweets, but... Yeah, hand me that blue up. Yeah, I think I'm going to get that, too. A hard Jolly Rancher? Dude, I don't even count Jolly Ranchers as candy. No. That's like a buy for me. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to pull me what color you want. I don't yeah, I'll show Purple, you. Purple, pink. I'm talking about the ropes. You ever tried the ropes? Ropes? Yeah. I'm going to get a green one out for me, but I'm going to save it for later and tell the... No, I not mean that. Right now. That? Yeah. Okay. We'll eat that once we're... We have one more box, then we're going to eat the sour candy. Now, we're eating the sour candy right now. How sour is it, and will we die? It's pretty good. Have you ever had those sour bombs or whatever? Mm -hmm. Warheads? Yeah, those are scary. I love those. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Really sticky. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> is it sour? That is actually really good. Mm-hmm. Well, sour though. I bet that's your favorite kind. I bet that's your favorite. Candy. Candy's one thing AG don't dabble in too much. I don't do much with candy, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Right. Ooh. Who's that from again? Jack Lard. It's Jack right. o' Lantern. Thanks for the candy, man. Maybe you are the candy, man. We don't know. We can't confirm nor deny. Last one. Uh oh. Coming from Landon Oler. What up, Landon? Well, I'm, I'm going to eat this. Are you good? Do you know our P.O. box? No. Hold on. Yeah. Read it off to him. Kendall Gray, P.O. box. 724 Barberville, Kentucky, 40906. Once again, that is P.O. box 724 Barberville, Kentucky, 40903. Uh, oh, 03 is 906. A uh, 906, my bad. All right. It also should be down in the comments. If you guys want to send us stuff, we'll try our best to open it. Like I was saying, some things we just don't have room to open it on camera. But that's all okay because it's a collective here. We're not being, we're not, we're a team. So if some people's things get open, some people's doesn't, that's okay because we're a team here and we're here for the collective. That's how it goes. We appreciate everything. Yes, we do. This is Landon Oler from MD. Hate to say it. Maryland. Maybe. I Co think so. I couldn't tell you. What we got? What we got? What we got? We got some fan art, which is epic. KG, that's my initials. Crazy, dude. Crazy. Same one right here. That's right. That's right. We got some bobbers, some flukes, and a pack for the bait wall. 
Mmm. Man, dude. That's a pretty solid pool right here. Don't bust my bobber now. I'm busting it. I'm going to use that for minutes. Look how cool the pliers are, though. I like them pliers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. As for favorite thing, I'm going to have to go with the pliers. I'm going to have to go with the Crocs. Yeah, that's true. You know what? It's kind of hard to say what's your favorite thing when everything's really good. I like that's the ammo. One. I liked all of it, for one. But as for standout random product, I'm going to just say the yeah. pliers because I have not yeah. seen anything like these. I, I, yeah, no. It's like, what? what is that small that you need to put that much torque on? Because the handles are pretty big. Like, <laughs> it's like it's not like something like get in there and do it. It's like you got a full hand for a little bitty bolt. That's insanity. That's insanity, but I appreciate oh, cool. it. I like that. I respect that. As for that, guys, I think I'm going to give you guys the promo code now. Okay? Let's not forget about that. That had been really bad if I forgot the promo code. <laughs> but, yeah. As for the promo code, up close to personal. This promo code will give you 10% off the KG pocket knife. It will give you 10% off all three, all four of the new shirts, which is this one right here, which is called the KG Black Bear T-shirt. Just go on the website, go up to the search bar, type in Black Bear. That's how you can find it. The other one's called Blue Line Flag. Just type in Blue Line Flag, and it'll probably pop up the shirt and the pocket knife. And then the third one's called Fishing Man. It's not Fisherman because I thought that was too basic. I entitled it Orange Fishing Man. Pretty epic, but, uh, and, and the fourth one, which is the restocking of the KG USA Navy T-shirt. It's the KG with the American flag in it. All four of those items, plus any KG pocket knife, use promo code L-I-V-E-10. That's LIVE10, all caps. You're, uh, it's not gonna work right now. Come back in about 30 minutes. 10 minutes it should work because i i gotta go and i gotta go make the code right now so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end live stream see you later my boys uh what is it thursday today yeah mm -hmm. have a good weekend and go to church on sunday and is sunday halloween no um no no all right uh bye i'm gonna go create that promo code see you later i'll get bye